Hi, my name's Kate Harris and I'm currently studying business studies at Leeds Beckett University. Today I will be talking to you about entrepreneurial marketing and what techniques Beauty with Olivia uses during her marketing. Most common features of entrepreneurial marketing include risk-taking innovation and being proactive. They use easy and accessible tools such as social media in order to gain their customers. Entrepreneurial marketing was defined by Traston in 2016 who said that the behaviour exhibited by an individual or an organisation which adopts a philosophy of challenging established market conversions during the process of developing solutions more effectively to exhibit new or existing customers. There are so many definitions for entrepreneurial marketing that there's not just one single definition. Another definition was by Crane in 2014. The activity for creating, communicating, delivering and exchanging offerings that benefit the organisation, its stakeholders and society at large. Your business venture must create and deliver customers or value. Beauty with Olivia is a new beauty business who uses entrepreneurial marketing. Instagram and Facebook are her main source of marketing and how her business is run. It is also run from home in a newly renovated room, offering a number of services to her clients. Beauty with Olivia posts daily on her social media to keep customers and competitors interested and updated with her business. She markets special and seasonal offers, including Mother's Day, to market a specific group. With the use of Pestle, I will be discussing how the macro environment impacts Beauty with Olivia. Economic factors such as interest rates can cause the price of her suppliers to fluctuate, which may cause her to either change suppliers regularly or increase or decrease her prices. Because she is still studying some of her services, she is able to charge less for her. Legal factors are that she is qualified to do what she offers, which will gain more trust with customers. If she weren't qualified, she wouldn't be able to carry out the services she does. Also, she has to do patch testing in order for her customers to know that they are able to use her products without having an allergic reaction, which can cause her to be sued. Technological factors is that she uses social media to market her business and relies highly on this. If trends in social media were to change, she would have to change the way she markets also. She is currently using Facebook to market her business, which is her main source as she has the most followers on this. We live in a society where beauty and makeup is a big thing and values and attitudes towards this affect beauty therapists positively. Sociocultural factors impacts Olivia's business as a lot of ages go to beauty therapists on a daily basis and upcoming trends and influences through social media keep her business going. Using seasonal offers, she can adopt her business around all ages. The microenvironment that impacts Beauty of Olivia are things such as competitors, suppliers and customers. Beauty of Olivia's main competitor is Hattie's Beauty Retreat. Beauty of Olivia and Hattie's Beauty Retreat are very similar in ways as you can see. They both use entrepreneurial marketing and social media is the way that they market. Beauty of Olivia focuses more on therapies and nails whereas Hattie's Beauty Room is much more on makeup and lash, lash based. This is what separates the two and which keeps them competitive. When it comes to customers, word of mouth is very important to a business as it's what they rely on. Reviews and shares are how customers are able to trust a person and it's how their business is able to grow. The purchase decision process is what Olivia needs to adapt her marketing round. What the problem is, the information they can get from her media accounts, reasons why they should choose her over others to get the purchase and a positive post-purchase. These The problem might occur that somebody needs their eyebrows sorting. The information is that they Google the beauty therapist in the area. They evaluate why they should go to Beauty with Olivia over other services. The purchase is the making the appointment and the post-purchase will be given the reviews and recommendations onto her site so other customers are able to know what she is like. In 2014, Traston said that the promotional mix would be affected by this any stage of the purchase decision process. In the pre-purchase stage, advertising and public relations are more helpful than personal selling because advertising and public relations inform the potential customer existence of your product and your company. There are many places in which suppliers sell beauty products all over the internet. This impacts Beauty of Olivia as she is able to change suppliers easy and get her products cheaper by adding logos to her photos she posts. This will not only make her look professional, but it'll make her be easy, easily recognised by people who see these photos. She could also create a website so people who do not have social media can reach her that way.